Hello and welcome everyone. I am Ajay Aditya C and today we will look at how you can fulfill your sales orders in Zoho inventory with the help of UPS. Now this video is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough that will not only teach you how to integrate Zoho inventory with UPS but also the process behind generating UPS shipping labels for one or more packages performing third-party billing for your shipments and more. So let's begin by looking at how one can integrate Zoho Inventory and UPS. There are three things you need in order to do this. You need a Zoho Inventory organization, a UPS account and a computer with internet access. If you don't have a UPS account yet, you can get started on making one for your business right from the integration setup screen within Zoho Inventory. To begin this integration, open your Zoho Inventory and navigate to Shipping Carriers under Integrations via the sidebar. Click on the Setup Now button below the UPS logo to access a setup screen. Enter your UPS account number. Now, if you are unsure about your UPS account number, you can find it by opening a new tab on your browser, logging into your UPS account and navigating to Accounts and Payments options under Profile as shown here. As for the UPS invoice details are these four fields between the UPS account number and address, they are only necessary if you have any delivery services invoices within the last 90 days. And if you do have any such invoices, pick one of the last three invoices and record its information here. Now, when entering your address, please make sure that it absolutely matches with the one you have provided within your UPS account. You can find your UPS registered address by opening a new tab on your browser logging in to your UPS account and navigating to addresses under profile as shown here. In fact, I would even recommend simply copying your address from UPS and pasting it into the integration setup screen in Zoho Inventory to get it right, especially with the address field being case sensitive and all. While you're at it, please ensure that the information under the state or the province field and the country code field are correct. That being said, when it comes to the country field within your address, don't rely on copy pasting this information and instead choose the correct one from the drop down. Once you're done, hit the save and continue button to finish the integration setup. Now that we have seen how to connect your UPS account with Zoho Inventory, let's see how it works by having some products shipped. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using a Sandbox UPS account to generate a sample shipping label. Okay, so I'm inside of one of our test organizations and I have a ready-made sales order right here. As you can see from the package entries here, all the items have already been packed and are ready to ship. Now I'm going to ship the items by clicking the create button and selecting the shipments option and then selecting the ship via carrier option to initiate the shipping sequence. Now there are three steps involved in creating a UPS shipment label. Step one, validating addresses. The built-in address verification system will verify whether the addresses are real places. And this process will determine the shipping options available to you in step two. And if there are any mistakes in addresses, you will have to correct them before you can proceed. Step two, configuring shipments. This is the place where you specify what's in the shipment and how you have packed it. It includes details like when do you want to ship the package, what are the package dimensions, what is its weight, and so on. If you have more than one unshipped package for a sales order, 
then you can potentially generate a single shipment label for all those packages by adding them in step two of your shipping process. Such shipments are referred to as multi-piece shipments in Zoho Inventory. Now, if you have customers that have their own UPS accounts and are the type to take care of the shipping and transportation costs by themselves, then you can make use of a feature called third-party billing, which is built into this integration. To do this, you will need to make use of this option called configure billing method in step two, wherein you will be able to specify who pays for the transportation charges and taxes. You can either bear the shipping costs and the duties which only apply to your international shipments either by yourself or you can assign them to a third party by providing their UPS account number, their country code and the postal code linked to their UPS account. After that, the system will show you various shipment options along with their rates from UPS. Choose the one that suits your needs or your customer's needs and hit the create shipment button to proceed to the next step. Now step three, generating shipment labels. Here you will find the shipping label being generated for you based on your preferences in the previous step. If it's a multi-piece shipment, then you will find an individual label copy for each package here. Following this, you will have a choice to either have the system send out a notification email to your customers automatically or manually send one out yourself. Once you're done with all the steps, UPS will automatically keep track of shipments you make through them and update their statuses in Zoho inventory. Widing a shipment. To cancel a shipment, navigate and open the relevant package within the packages module in Zoho inventory. Click on more options from the top right and select delete shipment from the drop down. In the following screen, hit the wide and delete button to finish. This will delete the shipment from Zoho inventory and wide it within your UPS account. We saw how to integrate Zoho inventory with UPS, how to generate a shipping label. And finally, we also saw how to wide a shipment. Now let's look at a few things that you must remember when creating a shipment with UPS. Number one, Zoho Inventory supports domestic shipments via UPS for USA, European Union, Canada, Mexico, Puerto Rico, and Asia Pacific regions like Singapore, Malaysia, and Australia. Apart from that, we also support international shipments to an extent. That said, you are required to manually generate all the additional forms and documents required for an international shipment by yourselves directly from the UPS website as of now. This might change later as we keep improving this integration. Number two, your shipments will be charged through your UPS account and not through Zoho inventory. Number three, be aware of possible chargebacks on your UPS invoice if you're shipping on a third party account or a customer's account as they have 180 days to raise a dispute and rebuild the original shipper. In case of refusal to pay or non-payment by the receiver, you as the original shipper will be charged a refusal fee along with the shipping fee. Number four, if you ever run into a situation where you get an error that says license system not available, do not panic. It just means that the UPS service is temporarily unavailable so just keep calm and try again after a while. That should get it sorted. Number five, you may be surprised if you open your UPS account directly and don't find any record of shipments you have made. But don't worry, the shipments made using Zoho inventory are safely stored in a sub account within your UPS account. That sub account is automatically created as soon as you integrate UPS with Zoho inventory as a measure to keep your integration functioning 
no matter what changes you make to your UPS account. Number six, the UPS integration that we saw today is a direct integration unlike the one with UPS Mail Innovations, which is also available within Zoho Inventory. UPS Mail Innovations that you see within Zoho Inventory is not linked to the direct integration and is made possible through a third party called EasyPost. Number seven, when the UPS driver is picking up your packages, if they ask for an end of day barcode, point out to the bow tie box image that is printed in the lower right corner of the shipping label. There is no limit on the number of shipments a driver will take without a barcode. If the parcels are properly labeled, the driver is required to take them. Last but not the least, if you want to ship a sales order that contains items from different warehouses, make sure that you record individual packages for individual warehouses and ship them separately. If you don't do this, then the goods can only be picked up from one location since step one of the shipping label generation process only allows you to enter one from address. Keep these tips in mind and try integrating your UPS account with Zoho Inventory. If you have any questions or need help, you can reach us at any time during weekdays at support at the rate zohoinventory.com. Thank you.